me, Wrecker! Wrecker, I risk my life for my country every day. Give me the charge! Your country needs you alive, Hannah! You are not going down, period! Wrecker, when the detonator goes green, you push the button! Hannah! Yeah, I finally unlocked the P90, believe it or not. The game has only been out for over a year. But the reason for that is because I played the single player actually twice fully on the 360 because I liked it so much. I unlocked two weapons, but not the P90. Then I got Battlefield on the Xbox One, and I just didn't feel like playing the game all the single player all over again from scratch on the Xbox One just to unlock the P90. But then, you know, after a little break, I was like, why not? Why not play it again? And so I went through the whole single player a third time around to unlock the P90. And I know in order to, if you have played the single player once, you don't have to play the whole single player in order to unlock the other weapons. You can just actually play the last chapter. But I did play the single uh, player twice, not because I wanted to unlock the other weapons, just because I liked it. And then on the Xbox One, I did have to play it from scratch because my Xbox One didn't know that I ever played this game before. So it treated me like someone who's never played the single player and I was forced to play it from scratch again. But I actually did enjoy it just as much as the first two times. I just love the Battlefield single players. I always like the Battlefield single player, but the one for Battlefield 4 is exceptionally good. And, you know, really good story, good graphics, a lot of fun. So here we go, me having fun with the P90. And I have to say, at the first, you know, couple of games that I played, I didn't like it so much because it's got a really, really, really nasty vertical recoil when you just put on the suppressor and I usually really prefer to play with the suppressor like most of you probably you know especially on close quarters like that and let this guy just go I mean I just had a guy here and he disappeared well I'll get him later well again where did he go <laughs> you know don't you feel sometimes in Battlefield 4 like you're playing against ghosts I do I do all the time but anyway where was I and um, yeah, this gun has a very nasty vertical recoil, but when you put the um, muzzle brake on, it, I think I tried to compensate it didn't work as well, but the muzzle brake really works because it actually reduces the drift, the vertical drift, quite a bit. So you have no longer a suppressor, which can be a disadvantage, but on the other hand, you, ha you have, this gun is much more manageable. And what I really noticed about this gun that I feel like it kind of replaces the mTOR, my beloved mTOR. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have had a ton of fun with the mTOR. It was one of my favorite weapons and I think even now on my statistics, it's still my absolute top weapon. I have the most kills with the mTOR. I think I have something like 6,000 kills with it or something. And I was just super sad when, you know, I found out after the upgrade that the, the Emperor was just not anymore what it used to be. It wasn't that awesome weapon anymore. It just became weak somehow. And it, it felt to me like I was shooting like pellets like rice or Lego bricks or something like that. And now with the P90, I almost feel like I have those old days, those Emperor days are back again. You know, where you have this super fast uh, weapon that just takes out more than one enemy at a time, which I can't really say about a lot of other weapons. Like here, it's just amazing. I'm actually only showing here the clips where, you know, I do uh, take out more than one enemy at a time, which doesn't always happen because you don't always run in situations where you have two and three people facing you at one time, but you can just see how super easy it is to just take down, you know, two, three enemies with, with like one magazine. 
and that's just something that I was able to do with the Empire and then really couldn't ever duplicate anymore with any other weapon and you know it probably depends on the person you know everyone has their their own favorite weapons but this weapon to me is just my new favorite weapon and I wasn't really sure if I was able to use this weapon on wild open maps like you know this one for example and this one for example you know huge open maps where you know it's totally populated with snipers and tons of vehicles but you know what I was just kind of saying hey you know I have nothing to lose, let's try it out and see if I can actually use the P90 on just about every map and every game mode and I did not try every game mode but I was saying, thinking that, you know, Conquest really has those huge maps and I can really test this weapon and I found out, you know, that you have to sometimes change your playstyle a little bit because the problem with the P90 is that it's a PDW and PDWs are just not so good in taking people out in long range and the only weapon that I thought was an exception back before the fall upgrade or actually even at the very beginning of the game before any of the upgrades was the PDWR. The PDWR to me was my absolute favorite PDW because I was able for some reason taking out people easily from a distance. So I'm trying to take here you can see I, I just see that there's not even a point for me to try because I cannot, I have to waste so many bullets and look at that guy, I just can't take him out, he's too far away. So if you actually adjust your playstyle with this gun, you can actually do really well. Just, you know, be more careful if someone shoots you from far away, take cover, let him come to you. Like here, I'm just gonna, you know let people come to me most of the time if I can and right now I'm challenging myself to take someone out a little farther and I know it will be a little bit more difficult but you know sometimes this gun can surprise you and can actually take out people from afar if you manage to get a headshot so if you haven't tried out the P90 yet try it out and let me know what you think I hope to see you next time take care bye bye